Today we're going to talk about exponential function, the golden ratio, and pi. Pi. The first reference of pi was in the 1650s, before Christ. The story begins with the Egyptians that find the number. And the number is the relation between the diameter and the circumference. The, it, it helps the discovering of relations and it's really important in algebra. Algebra is invented and then pi starts becoming a mathematical model. So pi is also an irrational number and it keeps going on and on in its never ending. It's also transcendental because there is no equation that can give you pi. Where can you find pi? You can find it in areas, volumes, and also it's useful in the, in the making of capacity reactants and electromagnetic radiation. Carl Gauss discovered that pi is also helpful in the prediction of how things behave. As you can see in the video, pi is an unending number and it will never end. We could, we could go days, years and an eternity trying to discover all of the numbers of pi and that wouldn't be enough. The Golden Ratio The Golden Ratio is a special property which is really interesting. Its number is 1.618 and it its symbol is pronounced phi. The golden ratio is an irrational number and it will never end. It is found in nature, art, architecture, and it's also used in geography. The Fibonacci sequence. It's very interesting because Fibonacci was once just goofing around in his classroom and he found a very important sequence. What's really interesting about this number is that if you divide the numbers of the Fibonacci sequence, you will get the numbers that are really close to the golden ratio, as you can see in the next image. Now the question might be, where can I find the golden ratio? Well, you can find the golden ratio everywhere. It exists everywhere, in nature, in advertising. Our eyes are so used to it that it makes every single image visually appealing, meaning beautiful. It was the first use as B, then as E, and eventually standardized to E. You can find it this in math, etc. E is the base of natural logarithms, approximately equal to 2.71828. It's the limit of 1 plus 1 divided in n with an exponent of n, and approaches to infinity. E is something called the Euler's number, named after Leonard Euler. The first reference to, constant, to the constant is credited to Jacob Berenoldi.